What's up friends, this is Manny and welcome to an insane gameplay video with a Crisis sub -Dur. some excellent gameplay, where the sub aren't even maxed, man. They're Mark II level 6 and I'm gonna kick everything with it, with the Kestrel drone by the way, which now works well with a Crisis, um, which it did before but now no longer with 90% of the other robots. Um, <laughs> and I'm, the point of this video is enjoy this setup while you can, because this is going to get nerfed very soon. Similar or same as the Damper and Tamer did, right? We all know it's going to happen. We know that it will lose 100 meters range down to 500 instead 600. The fire rate will be nerfed by 70% or, or, or whatever, right? So you'll lose massive damage output and the option to fire at, ma at higher ranges. And um, yeah, exactly what happened to tam Damper and Tamer. This is the same weapon from the same category, but hasn't yet gotten the nerf because why? I've already said it plenty of times here on the channel, because it was added to the game a little later, so it didn't have as much time running through the sales phase, it hasn't made its sales yet, and we know that Pixonic doesn't nerf content before it has been sufficiently sold, right? Um, so, uh, once that happens, uh, it's going to get the same nerf, and things like this, where a full Curie runs in and just gets insta-deleted despite placing its turrets, um, won't happen anymore. So, again, Enjoy the setup while you still can, um, or any setup with subduers for that matter, be it on a Lynx robot, a Rochi, or um, an Ultimate Ao Ming, or whatever else you might be running it on. Uh, you're not going to be having so much fun with it anymore going forward sometime very soon, right? Um, and uh, that is unfortunate. But at the same time, of course, uh, these weapons are completely and helplessly overperforming, ruining the game. Uh, and as such, uh, they cannot remain like this. Mm. But again, of course, a decent game developer would have simply, uh, you know, not released it that way into the game uh, in a broken state where it destroys the gameplay for everyone. Um, but not so Pixar. They, uh, as long as there's money to be made with it, it's going to be uh, it's going to be sold uh, in in this state, right? We know that. Uh, so I was still running the Paladin. In this case, it's really useful. I think the Paladin is a really good battleship for a Crisis robot because you can brawl with uh, enemies with your very fragile Crisis and still take no damage because the Paladin shield will protect you from it. Of course, the Aval Avalon battleship is now the new. Whoa! This guy's already aimed in on me. Whoa, that was surprising. <laughs> Did you see that guy? He was standing down there. You'd think he was busy with somebody, but he was like watching me and just waiting for me to walk around the corner. Again, dude, the guy's always looking at me. What the heck? <laughs> this is so weird. All right, uh, I guess I have to be a little careful about him. It seems like every time I walk around the corner, he's already shooting me. Um, but I can understand why. This thing does a lot of damage. And look, this is a full move Mets. All right, never mind. He walks behind cover. Okay. Uh, I'm playing very careful, by the way, here, because uh, we, we know that Crisis is a very fragile machine. It can be killed in an instant. And what I'm doing here, you see me fire my weapons from time to time, right? I just open fire for just for a second so that I lose my stealth and gain a new stealth. Because every time that happens, take a look at the top left. 177,000, pop, now it's 190,000. Gray HP restored due to the Kestrel drone, right? Every time I uh, enable a new stealth ability, I will get a healing of my gray HP health that I've lost. And, uh, and so it's useful to just, from time to time when you know nobody's going to shoot you, just drop your stealth, re-engage the stealth. Drop the stealth, re-engage the stealth. Every few seconds, right? Similar to what a Loki can do. And by doing so, you can heal yourself back up, um, past the gray HP threshold, and uh, yeah. So, we have two enemies coming our way, an Indra and a, uh, well, um, a Kiri. The Kiri would be dead now, by the way. The phase shift saved him and allowed him to place his turrets once more, adding another 500k HP to his pool of HP. But after that, he no longer has the phase shift and he goes down. One clip of these four subduers insta-deletes a Kiri. It is insane. This is such a powerful beast of a setup. And again, I like the Crisis Robot because it's very interesting to have a playstyle of high risk, high reward. So while I can delete anybody instantly, anyone can delete me instantly too. If for example, they would shield break my Paladin battleship or if they see through stealth, 
and can attack me when I rely on my stealth, right? Um, and yeah, that is a really, really, really powerful setup, but also tricky to play. I would bet that most people trying to make a video, recording a video like this, would probably have died within the first one or two minutes of gameplay, because it is really that easy to die with it. <laughs> you have to play a bit like a sissy, you have to always, you know, wait out the moment and, 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 and choose the right timing for your move when you drop your stealth and so on. Right now you see this Newton, he's about to whoop me. Um, of course, due to the uh, durability extenders on the battleship, I have meanwhile gotten 300,000 HP, um, but I was also able to one-tap the full frickin' Newton. Did you see that? 100% Newton pop, gone, instant, one clip. And that is not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, going forward. That will not happen much longer. Next match, we're here on Power Plant. It's an awesome map, man. I love the I love the the blue skies. I love the, uh, the the wide range of mountains that you can see in the distance. I love how the cover and open spaces are in a relation to each other that allows you to play any playstyle. This is for me the perfect map. This is the the best map Pixonic has ever made. I also like Valley a lot, uh, but Valley is much smaller, or at least it feels much smaller. And um, and there is it's a it's also an awesome map with a bridge where you can go underneath and so on. But overall, I kind of still think that Power Plant is a little cooler. But Power but Valley gets really close to it. I mean, Re Valley is really awesome. I guess I'm dead now in the enemy team here. Three, four guys on me. Uh, let's just jump into something else then and show you the next problem: <laughs> the Shenlu. Um, I feel like the Shen Lu should mm, not get a shield with every jump. I believe that is one big problem that it has. Uh, the weapons themselves are doing too much damage. That's not a secret. I think we all know that. But at the same time, um, the Shen Lu carrying the firepower of a Fenrir, but being able to jump on you at the same time through walls behind you with nothing you can do about it. That is not okay because a Fenrir level firepower is so high it can really ruin your game completely and the only way to skillfully negate that is by not getting caught in short range by a Fenrir which is doable easily because you can see him coming and you just move away from it right now try to do that with a Shenlu it doesn't work the Shenlu can just delete you from the game and there is nothing you can do about it and that is really just so wrong and uh yeah, look, I even got the full Fenrir snacked before I jumped away. He wasn't looking my uh, at me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, the firepower is too high on the Shenlu. It should have been two light and one medium weapon. Perhaps even just three light weapons. I believe most of you guys who are playing the Shenlu right now, you would still enjoy your Shenlu if it, was, if it had just three light weapons. The playstyle would be the same. You just wouldn't instantly delete anything you jump in within 0.5 seconds in these weapons because the light versions would do a bit less damage and you need a second more, right? But I would argue that you guys, even those of you who have it, would probably think too that three light weapons would have been enough for it. You can tell me in the comments if you agree. If, tell me if you have a Shen Lu, if you play it, if you like to play it, and if you agree that uh, three light weapons would have been would have been sufficiently uh, armament or sufficiently enough for it. Um, because I assume so. I feel like I already know you guys really well as my community and my viewers, and I typically have a good sense of what you guys think. I might be wrong though, but let me know. But that is one issue, and the fact that it can teleport behind you. And that multiple times, very annoying, right? Maybe the Shen Lu should have just teleported in front of you. So that it can teleport, but um, all you need to do is press the fire button to retaliate when it arrives, right? So you don't have to turn around first and uh, and all this. Or, alternatively, that the Shen Lu teleports behind you, but it also faces the wrong direction, right? I mean, there are multiple ways how, could, how Pixonic could have made things better than they are right now. The thing is, though, I can suggest you as much things as I want 
to make Warbots a better game. In the end, Pixonic does not have an interest in doing that. They don't have the interest. The only interest is to make the sales with the Shenlu um, and um, yeah, and sell sell them. That's the only interest, the only concern. And for that, it can't be overpowered enough. Because the more overpowered, the more you guys want it, right? Um, even though you all know it's going to get nerfed. So we can blame Pixonic for that, but we can also put some blame back at us because we are the ones who constantly support this and make this possible, right? Because of us players, this works. And although I'm really not making uh, any sales for the game, or in the game. I am, I've bought two times a little, little bit, like $5 of Memorium, but that is pretty much it. At the same time though, as a content creator, I, uh, I, I get a few things, so I can always show them to you and don't have to uh, buy it all the time, right? Um, but yeah, the, uh, the thing still remains. Um, if, if people, you know, continue to buy things like that, of course, why should Pixonic change something? Right? Speaking about our petition and so on, um, there's really much reason to change something. So let's get up here and punish that, uh, that Rook there big time. Fully unloading the Sonics on him. Wow, his shield was offline in that moment. He took the entire salvo, every little pallet and particle of these Sonic weapons he took without having a shield active, without having a jump, without dodging anything, being point blank. And I just depleted him by 70%. All of that being damage that he cannot heal back other than Grey HP Restore. That was sick. That was <laughs> that was an insanely uh, lucky timing for my unloading of the uh, of my Sonic weapons. Being reloaded at that very moment, you know, fitting perfectly with him popping the shields to get fresh ones, and like this could not have gone better. That was like a, that was a real slaughter <laughs> for him there. Um, but yeah, so I uh, I really uh, would like to hear your opinion on the topic, of course. Going to be interested to hear what you have to say. Um, especially in regards to Shen Lu, for example, right? Uh, but also, I wanted, and that is the point of this video, I wanted to show you the uh, Crisis robot with the subduers and how it looks like when, uh, when this setup works and also remind you that Unfortunately, I believe those are the last few days that we see right now before this thing is nerfed. In fact, the nerf could already have happened before I even released the video at that point. There is even a chance that um, when I release this video, maybe in three days or so, <laughs> that the nerf has already happened. It's possible. I don't think it's happening. It's going to be happening this fast, but it will happen soon. And uh, yeah. Tonk Man, how many freaking robots do you still have? <laughs> Tonk Man, I like that name. Um, he's very tonky with his tanky tonky robots. Alright, so ladies and gents, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video and Nanny Gaming signing off. Bye bye.